Our next question comes from a fellow Smoky Mountain Wrestling Fan Week alumni, Justin Crockett. Justin Crockett from Lawrence, Kansas. So I went to the Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame and Museum Induction Weekend thing in Wichita Falls, Texas. I was pretty shocked to go to their comedy show Q&A thing, however it was billed, and see Eddie Mansfield there. Then later, he was part of the Q&A part of the evening. What the fuck is going on when a guy that went on national TV to expose the business is welcomed with open arms to an organization whose mission it is to preserve the history of pro wrestling? I get that this is some sort of piece of history, the biz, but it's not a good one. Letting a guy like him participate seems to be the wrong move to me. A slap in the face of sorts. The guy was trying to explain how he did what he did to help the boys. How? Oh, God. By trying to ruin the business that allows them to feed themselves and their families? What a bunch of horse shit to me. This guy seems to be a bitter drunk, and I hope my observation is true. Fuck him. <laughs> what are the thoughts held by the two of you guys about Eddie Mansfield being allowed back with open arms, so to speak? I, this is the first I've heard, and by the way, thank you for your question, Justin. Uh... It's the first I've heard that he was at the thing, and I can't believe I, I can believe it. I'm pretty sure, probably that they've since they've moved the uh, the Hall of Fame or whatever, the new people who are in charge of it is somebody's probably an old friend of his or whatever the fuck. Because otherwise, fuck that fucking guy. Johnny Mantel is um, in charge of it now. Well, well, I don't know why Johnny Mantel and Eddie Mansfield would be friends, or I, who knows? I don't know why that just out of the blue you would ask this fucking clown who did expose the business back when it wasn't uh, fashionable to do so, uh, and and only for, for said he wanted to help the boys. He wanted to help himself because he was frustrated because he thought he should have been Ric Flair, and what he was was fucking Eddie Mansfield which was a mid-card guy in a few fucking promotions, and occasionally he'd get hot every once in a while in a small company uh, and and apparently had an overwhelming uh, opinion of himself and couldn't get anywhere and fucking took it out on national TV. Um, I was surprised when guys worked for him when he ran his own company, although a lot of, they didn't use a lot of big names, but he ran that company in at Universal Studios for a while in Florida in what early 90s. Yeah. And I can't believe that guys that had self-respect and respected the business would work for the fucking prick. And I have no idea how, why pro the pro wrestling hall of fame, recognizing fucking Eddie Mansfield is like the baseball hall of fame, fucking applauding the memory of shoeless Joe Jackson. No, 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 don't no. It, it's the equivalent of the baseball hall of fame honoring Abe knuckleball Schwartz. Shoeless Joe Jackson was actually a fantastic player, who, well, but he, he was he through the game. He was, it was a scandal. There are questions now whether he was really a part of the conspiracy to throw the game. Oh, so maybe DNA might clear him. Yes. All right. Well, in that, in that case, Abe Knuckleball fucking Schwartz. Then. All right. Our next question comes from Donnie. Fuck Eddie Mansfield, by the way. <laughs> say, fuck him. That show used to air in New York, the IWF. It's the first time I saw Kevin Kelly. He was the commentator. Demolition Axe was there, and they would film all their promos on the Universal Studios lot, uh, you know, in, in Orlando, Florida. I guess I shouldn't call it a lot, the theme park, because it would be like an interview with Demolition in front of a, the Psycho House. It was ridiculous. <laughs> and then that was the first time people saw the Smoking Guns. They were there as the Long Riders. And they had just this real makeshift crew, Chubby MC, Odessa Slim, which was a guy pretending to be Dusty Rhodes in a mask. Oh, fuck. But he's wearing a mask, so it could be Dusty. It was it was not very good. Rob Van Dam, when he was still Rob Van Dam. <laughs> they still used to pronounce his name like Jean Claude Van Damme. Van Damme. Oh <laughs> yes, he was a Van Damme. I, I, you know, and, and the fucking thing is, uh, two things helped. Eddie Mansfield helped inadvertently make that 2020 thing not as bad as what it could have been. There were two things that saved it. Number one, Schultz taking most of the attention by slapping a piss out of that little prick fucking John Stossel. And secondly, when when Mansfield actually used a blade and cut himself on TV, that was so fucking far out for most people that he lost a lot of credibility. I, from what I heard from people, yeah, they said, yeah, well, he just did that. Well, that's just fucking stupid. We don't believe that shit. <laughs> so he tried to fucking expose everything and ended up uh, uh, goddamn hurting their own case. But... Fuck him. Feed him fish heads. 